Hello to you all wonderful viewers and welcome to the Sims Queenie's little YouTube channel. And I just want you to pause this video. Pause it right now and grab something so you can have like a cup of tea or a fruit or something and cuddle up in bed or in a couch because this will be a long speed build. It will be 27 minutes and 9 seconds long. And here is the story. This is the apartment, a very run-down apartment. And there is a mom moving in here with her two kids and one toddler. So there are two sisters who are 10 and 8 years old, Tessa and Barbara, and the little toddler, Conrad. And when they moved in here, they had absolutely no cash all their cash went to buy this house and as you know when you move in somewhere it the only thing there is it's like a kitchen and the bathroom and the rest of it is empty so this poor mom with her two children and one toddler went to uh, the junkyard here in uh, evergreen harbor and she was looking for stuff to put in her apartment. And surely, slowly but surely, she has been able to furnish the whole apartment. And one day when they were walking uh, to get to the young yard, they found a small pup roaming through the trash to get something to eat. He was so tiny and they did not see a mama dog. So they could not leave him there. They named him Obi and took him home. So it's not only four mouths to feed, but also a puppy. And this mom has got no job. Uh, and actually, she's a high school dropout. And... She used to be married to a very abusive man and she had Tessa and Barbara with him and then she had uh, she got divorced and she had a one night stand that she absolutely did not mean to lead, lead anywhere but she got pregnant with Conrad. So now she has three kids and a pup and now we are decorating the kitchen and this is a scrappy table and mismatched chairs and a awful rug underneath but it's all that she had and curtains and at least there was a fire alarm here and a thermostat when she moved in. This is where they all can put their shoes. Shoe rack. And now let's put on some move objects so that you can move all the stuff wherever you want to put it. And a light switch. And this is something nice that Barbara actually made in school because the young girls, they go to school, of course. And something so that you can clean uh, the kitchen floor and some paintings that the kids did in school. And now I'm looking for some bags to hang underneath that little shelf with letters and keys and stuff on it. And we need a clothing rack as well. Uh, I, now I found the handbags. And the handbags were bought on a thrift store. Only like a dollar a piece or something. But that is the school bags for the girls. And now we have a food bowl and a water bowl. Didn't I put two? I know you don't have to put two. Uh, 
footballs because it's like the dogs don't drink water or something, which is very weird. And a small dog bed. Come on, just copy. Thank you. So I know they don't have to have two bowls, but I think it looks better. One for food and one for water. That's more realistic. And some newspapers, because he is a puppy. And some stains on the floor. And some stains on the walls. Yes, now I found the stains that I want to put, put up above the stove and above the sink as well. I got to use this, the newest kit, as basement treasure kit, a lot in this build. And it made me really happy. So let's see what to do in the bathroom. Of course, what fits better than this uh, shower tub combo from Strangerville? And I want this toilet from City Living. It looks like it's really messy. Got some white paint just dripping on it. And a sink. And they need a mirror, of course. Just a small mirror. And toilet paper. Of course they need toilet paper. <gasps> Oppa! I forgot to put in a potty for Conrad. Oh! Maybe that can be something easily changed. Or just buy it and put it in the build. And some dirty towels on the wall and some stains under the tub mm, cozy it's easier to actually look into a small room like this if there's no door because the door was really hard to look through you know to be able to see everything inside and the small rug next to the toilet which I do not understand but I used to have one when I grew up as well uh, just around the toilet and I think that's so I don't know what to call it unsanitary since I grew up with two younger brothers and do I need to tell you what young boys often do when they learn to go pee pee no probably i don't need to tell you so we had to wash that rug constantly so i actually i didn't understand why it was there from the first place oh now let's see i have two sofas in mind this from werewolf and the new sofa from the basement treasure kit where is it Come on, I need to find that new sofa. So let's go down to kits. Oh, there it is. It comes in very different, a lot of different swatches. I like this one with the floral pattern. Oh, but that one, the blue one from Vampires. No, this is it. I need that one. And then I want this TV from basement treasure kit and I want the bookshelf too and it is too small to put the TV on top but what if you do this you put two of those together but you need to flip the back side of one of them and you put the TV in the middle that might work then you can pretend it like it's doors on the other half or something. Our imagination must be good since we are builders in The Sims. Oh, I absolutely adore this table. 
Oh, the brown version with the stains on it from cups and stuff. Perfect. Perfection. Honestly, perfection. And another worn out uh, rug. And some blankets, like curtains. And that little boom box. So now they can look at, watch TV, they can read, and they can listen to music. Check on that one. A small water bottle. And what else? Oh, what is that? Just a box of junk. And what else can we bring? This is like, it's not a small box with like arts and crafts things for kids. But I do not think that it actually works in gameplay. And see here, it's a dollhouse that mommy made the kids out of cardboard boxes. I think it's cute. And the kids do play in it. I've seen that in gameplay. But this is how mommy makes money. She makes candles. And there are bushes uh, in this world of eco lifestyle. No, it's not called eco lifestyle. The pack is called eco lifestyle. It's called Evergreen Harbor. Where you can pick uh, the ingredients to make candles. And this is the floor lamp from, oh, wow, you could never guess. I mean, it's from the trash basement treasure kit. That kit really made me happy. Really, really happy. Because I like building a little more trashy-like apartments and houses. So this kit is really up my alley. Let's see, now we need those lights for the children so that they will not have any nightmares. Uh, so three of them, because we will have a toddler and two kids in this room. And then the mom will have the smaller room. Oh, she's alone, so she can have a smaller room and the kids can have the big room. When I grew up, my mother used to sleep on this sort of like Murphy bed uh, in the living room and my brothers shared one bedroom and I had my own bedroom. So my mom would most definitely have had the smaller bedroom. But if we lived in this apartment, she would have been sleeping in the living room. So let's see, what else can we put in here? We have the beds uh, for the girls, for Tessa and Barbara. It's from Werewolf Pack. And the toddler bed for Conrad is from Growing Together. And now I put a small car and a horse and a Jedi, I think it is. Um, on this little dresser and I put a nice, a super nice rug with ladybugs on it. That's actually a uh, doing by Tessa because Tessa, when she was in school, they were uh, closing a room, throwing stuff away where the younger children from kindergarten used to go next to Tessa's school. And she saw that rug and she ran to the teacher who was throwing it out and asked if she please could have it because her baby brother loved ladybugs. So of course, the nice teacher could not say no to Tessa. She's adorable. You will see her in the end of this video when I have some screenshots. And this little desk and chair was given to them by their neighbor because he was buying a new desk. And all those adorable uh, wall decorations is painted by their mother. 
on the walls, on the wallpaper. And also this small bookshelf that I actually should have turned because they can't use it when it stands like this. Um, they got from school. And this is a small, in Swedish it's called Dramaten. Um, and I really like it because you can put stuff in it and just pull the groceries home or whatever you have in the bag. And that yellow bag is actually for their findings when they are outside looking through trash cans and containers and stuff. And now I need a small... Oh, that's the box of apples. That's nice. Because then we can try to put some candles on top of it. Oh, I like those candles. That looks like a snake or something. It looks like the Loch Ness Monster. And some more candles. But we can't keep them on the floor because Conrad will probably like try to chew on them or something. So we need to put a small side table near this half wall and put the candles on top of that. And that, my friends, was not an easy thing to do. Because I don't know what's wrong with me today, but it was really hard to place them where I wanted them. And now we are going back into the kitchen to do some more cluttering. And they have actually got a popcorn machine. And the popcorn machine, they won. It was Barbara. She won it in the school lottery. Uh, the older kids in school had a dance to collect some money for a school trip. And they gave a few of the kids the last of the lottery tickets because they couldn't sell them. And lots of students and teachers feel sorry for Tessa and Barbara since they know that they are really poor. So Barbara actually won a prize on that lottery ticket and it was a popcorn machine. She was so happy. And the whole family is really, really happy because that is like almost the one thing that was brand new in this house. Yeah. I think maybe it is because everything else is from thrift stores and from trash cans and stuff that they built by themselves and let's see now oh now the wall decor for the kids bedroom and as I said their mommy is painting this on their walls it's adorable I think but it's from the werewolf pack, if you wanted to know. And now let's see. I don't think it's very much left in this room for the kids. And soon we will move into the mother's room. And now I have forced you to listen to my voice for like... 18 minutes and 40 seconds, nearly 19 minutes. So I will be putting on some music just for a few minutes so that you will be like spared from my voice for a while. So I'll be back in the end.
So there, I am back and we have seen uh, me furnishing the mommy's bedroom and putting up some more knickknacks. And now to this beautiful table. It's actually like a living room table, but it looks like it's from a pharmacy or something with all those small drawers. And I imagine that this is where the kids keep all their knickknacks. You know, like small kids, they collect everything, like little rocks or pieces of glass or, well, you know what I mean. So all those little drawers are filled with stuff that the kids find outside. A stick drawer and a stone drawer and a, yeah, you get it. And some more arts and crafts and a small bear gnome and a robot or whatever it is. And then I need some worn pieces. What is it called? You can see the drywall behind uh, the wallpaper. Hmm. And what else can we do? We're going through everything to see if we can put something else up. Maybe a light over the little armchair so you can sit and read when it's late. Hmm. That's cute. I really like the cracks in the wall behind the mirror. Maybe some stains on this wall. I'm not sure. Maybe. And some picture frames. Three, one for each child. And let's lower those lamps closer to the child. And pray for no nightmares. And some more curtains. Because maybe some of the kids, or one or two of them, don't like it to be light when they go to bed. Hmm. Oh yeah, right. A chair for Conrad. You need a high chair for him. So that he can join for dinner. And haven't I put up some cookbooks on the fridge? I hadn't done that yet. But I will, of course. And some pots and pans on the stove. Well, I want to thank you all for being so patient. And now this video is coming to an end with some screenshots. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. No, 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 I forgot. This is where I introduce Annie. This is Tessa. And the next one is Barbara. And little toddler Conrad and the little dog Obi that they found wandering around in the trash. Isn't he adorable? Well folks, thank you all for watching and now let's see when the family moves into their apartment.